Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to discuss how to solve half-life problems. So, simulan muna natin sa formula. We have A is equal to B times the quantity 0 0.5 to the T over H. So, again, this fraction na to ay isang exponent, yeah, ng 0.5. So, ano ba yung mga variables na yan? Ang A natin will be the amount left after time. So, I think resulting amount. B will be the starting amount, T natin will be time, and H will be the half-life. So, let's have the first one. Example, paano pag ang inahanap yung amount left after time? So, ito yung letter A. The half-life of strontium 90 is 28 years. How much of a 30 gram sample will remain after 2 years? So, for every 28 years daw, nangangalahati yung strontium. Kung may 30 grams ka, every 28 years, magiging 15 na lang siya. For example, uh, not 28 years, after 28 years, 15 grams na lang siya. Sorry, 15 grams. So, another 28 years, magiging 7.5 na lang siya. And so on. Now, so, tinang na dito, how much of a sam, how much of a 30 gram sample will remain after 2 years lang? So let's place a given. So A is both the amount left after time. B is 30 grams. T will be 2 years. And H will be 28 years. Ngayon, give me formula. Uh, substitute my values. A is equal to 30. M multiply mo siya sa 0 0.5 to the 2 over 28. So again, yung T yung sa taas, yung sa numerator, at H yung sa denominator. Yun, if you're going to solve this one, gagamit ka talaga ng calci, you have to input it like this one. Or, pare oh, yan, uh, dot siya, or mult na ka, parentheses. Hmm. So, the answer will be 28.55 and so on. So, just get, round up it to decimal points, or depends sa teacher nyo, you will get an answer of 28.55 grams. So, yung strontium now, strontium, na may half life ng 28 years, kung may 30 grams ka, Ilan yung matitira after 2 years, that will be 28.55 grams. Let's move on. Paano pag hinahanap yung starting amount? Let's read the problem. I mean 131 has a half-life of 8 days. So every every na, every walong araw, nangangalahati yung I mean 131. After 2 days, the remaining amount was 50 grams. Ano daw yung original amount? So babalik na rin natin. Hinahanap natin kung ano ba yung pinanggalingan yung amount. So, the given given, A is equal to 50 grams, B is starting amount, or original amount. T will be 2 days, at ang half-life niya daw ay 8 days. So, the given yung formula, and also, substitute my values, we have 50. So, color-coded naman siya. It's equal to B times 1 na 0.5 to the 2 over 8. Ngayon, we need to solve for B. So, algebraically, E... Ibaba mo lang tong buo na to dito sa baba ng 50. That will be 50 over the quantity 0 0.5 to the 2 over 8. So again, you have to use a calculator with this one. And sabi ng calculator, the answer will be 59.4603 or just um, be 59.46 grams. So ito daw yung original amount ng iodine-131. Hmm. Na may half-life ng 8 days, so after 2 days daw, magiging 50 grams siya. Let's have the next example. Paano pag time ang inahanap? You have dubium 262 has a half-life of 34 seconds. How long will you wait to see 200 grams of it decay to just 500 grams? So, in 200 grams mo, ilan, ilang segundo daw hihintay mo o, o ilang oras hihintay mo para maging 5 grams na lang siya. So, time ang inahanap natin. So, lagi may given. A is equal to 5 grams, B is equal to 200 grams, T will be the time, and H will be 34 seconds. Now, let's place the formula and substitute the values. So, I want you to listen carefully because this will be a little bit complicated. So, we have meta time 5 is equal to 200 times 0.5 to the T over 34. Again, uh, remember your properties of logarithm. We have to use logarithm here pag hinahanap yung variable at sa exponent pa siya. 
So, gagawin natin, para i-simplify muna natin to, divide both sides by 200, we'll get 0.025, at makawala na yung 200 dito. Ngayon, let's apply the logs. Magagigin ng log both sides, like that. And now, you will apply the power rule of logarithm. Ngayon, meron akong video about how to solve logarithmic equations using the properties of logarithm as a description box siya. Kaya hindi check it na lang. So, let's apply the power rule. At mapapansin mo exponent na to, itong fraction exponent na to, mapupunta siya dito. Mm -mm. Sa tabi ng log. Yan. So, log of 0 0.025 is equal to t over 34 log of 0 0.5. Anyway, algebraically, to solve for that one, uh, yung t over 34, ang value niya ay, ganyan lang, I divide, divide both sides by log of 0 0.5 lang. That's equal to t over 34. To find the value of t, so, iakit mo lang itong 34 dito sa kabila. Cross multiply mo. 34, yan, multiply mo lang. You have 34 log of 0 0.025 over log of 0 0.5. That's equal to t. Now, you have to use a calculator. Input mo lang siya as is, and you will get an answer of 180.94555 and so on, or 180.95 seconds. So, maghihintay ka ng 180.95 seconds para yung 200 grams mo ng dubium 262 na may half-life ng 34 seconds, magiging 5 grams na lang. And next one, what if ang half-life naman yung hinahanap? So, sodium-24 has a half-life of X hours if there are 800 grams of it initially and will take 6 hours for 750 grams of it to decay. What is its half-time? So, you have to read it carefully. And will take 6 hours for 750 grams of it to decay. So, hindi siya yung, ang 750 mo dito, hindi tong final amount. So, A natin will be 800 grams minus 750 grams. So, magiging 50 grams siya. Again, naan dito yung, ang A natin yung final amount. Final amount. So, yung, na, yung 750 grams daw of it to decay. So, my final amount mo ay 50 grams. Tricky, right? So, you have to be careful. Uh, okay, yung mga given natin. The giving formula and substitute the values. We have 50 here. It's equal to 800 times minus 0 0.5 to the 6 over H. Divide both sides by 800. Let's simplify it. 0 0.0625. At equal na siya dito. Ngayon, mag-apply ka ng log to both sides. And apply mo yung power rule. So again, meron akong video about sa logarithms. Nasa descri description box siya. Ngayon, yung 6 over each mo na exponent, mapupunta na siya sa kaliwa ng dito. Kaliwa ng log. So, para makuha mo yung, uh, to simplify further, so, multiply both sides by h. Okay, that's a good idea. Multiply both sides by h para wala nang fraction dito. And para makuha mo yung value ng h, divide both sides by a log 0 0.0625. So, ito na yun. Ito yung value ng h. Kailangan mo na lang siya i-calcule. So, that will be, ang sabi sa calcule, 1.5. So, 1.5 hours. It will take 1.5 hours para yung 800 grams na may half, uh, may maging, sorry, di pala, ang half-life daw ng sodium-24 ay 1.5 hours. So, yung sodium-24 daw na may half-life ng 1.5 hours, kung may 800 grams ka at gusto mo siyang gawing 50 grams, hmm, yung final amount, kasi ito ay kung ilan daw, ilan daw yung na-decay. And it will take 6 hours. That will be 1.5 hours in half-life niya. And that's the end of the lesson on how to solve half-life. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or comment Simon Cube, I'll do my best para sagutan yan as long as related to the topic. And again, I have a Facebook page. I would really appreciate ko mag-like dun kayo dyan. I'll post it in the description box below. This is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language. Thank you and goodbye!